Can you take care of them? No, sir, I said I'm done. Why do you have to go away? I'll show you how you do what you see. Like it can be worth something. Out of our way! I'm on Art expert, how oh. great you! You're mine! I'm on Green it! Green Blazer! Red Blast! All in you! Shiny Eat this! Be careful, oh, everyone! You're this one is it normal! Green Blazer! Burning Strike! We won that by a mile! on the ropes. Don't forget to heal your wounds.
equipment. Bite you in the butt. Walking up and down is a pain. Yeah, I wish we could just go straight through without all this hassle. On the other hand, the collapsed parts let you reach some places you wouldn't be able to otherwise. Now that you mention it, the ceiling's not gonna come down on us, is it? Up. <sighs> What's this 
dispose of the trash. That astral energy was incredible! I gave it everything I had! this thing. Look at it.
Sisladen, you remember how you said so long as you don't give up, there's nothing to stop someone starting over? Yeah? Well, I think you did just that. You've set out on a new path despite what happened in your past. Uh. Besides, you're not the only one fumbling your way through things. You too? It was your dad who taught me to fight. Back at the start of all this, I knew that so long as I followed him, I wouldn't end up straying. But it was also your dad who told me the importance of becoming my own master. Of searching out the answers within me. I always figured I would one day. But at the same time, I had so much more to learn. When he died, I suddenly found myself rudderless. Sure, our immediate goal is to defeat all the lords. But then what comes after that? There's no one left to point me in the right direction. It was then that I realized no matter how much I fret about it, the only thing I can do is fight. Brennan brutality isn't going to right itself. So that's what I'm doing. Fighting. And in the meantime, I'll try to figure out my next move. Right now, that's about all I can do. And you really believe you got what it takes to win this? Against all the odds? Yes, I do. Or at least I want to. If I'm being completely honest, sometimes I'm not really sure whether I can or not. So what if we're still figuring stuff out? If we do it together, then we can support one another along the way. Is there anything so wrong with that? No, I don't think there is. I think I get it now. We may not know what we're capable of, but we have to try all the same. Having another one of your secret meetings? Don't tell me you were taking yet another bathroom break. Oh, we were just engaging in a bit of brotherly bonding. Isn't that right, Alfin? Yeah, that's right. Hmm? Fine then, suit yourselves. Hey, I think I can feel a breeze up ahead. I bet the exit is real close. Finally! Man, it's been too long since I felt the sun on my face. When I get in a tussle, I go full force right at him. Whoever makes the first move wins. I do have to admit, it's quite the spectacle to watch you charge in and go to town on someone during a battle. Yeah, it was actually my old man who taught me to fight that way. The more I lay the beat down on some baddies, the more fired up my fists of fury get. Zephyr taught you? Wow, I guess you really are following in his footsteps. There's nothing wrong with being so focused on offense. 
but the enemy always fights back at some point. Eh, as long as I don't get hit, it's not a problem, right? So what you're saying is you're too weak to take a hit. You're not exactly one to talk. What were you two talking about earlier? Earlier? Oh, it was just serious guy talk. You know, the kind that girls don't get to hear. Really? Don't mind him, Rinwell. It's just... Well, maybe it is a little difficult to talk about in front of women. Difficult to talk about? Okay, now I really want to hear it. Unless... It's not the creepy sort of guy talk, right? No! Okay, it's not creepy! Okay, okay. As long as you're fighting fit, you can talk about whatever you like. <laughs> Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Here, Elda Menencia, the land of green. The place certainly lives up to its name, doesn't it? Yeah, just feel that breeze. It's like night and day compared to Calaglia and Cislodia. Unsullied, fertile land, as far as the eye can see. That's beautiful. Oh. What? No, oh, nothing. Just... I was thinking the very same thing. That's the realm capital in the distance. The city of Vicent. A word to the wise before we continue. Elda Menencia has produced more sovereigns over the years than any other. Uh, Xion! Guess we should probably follow after her, shouldn't we? Hey! You all right, Law? Yeah, fine. I was just thinking how Dad would have enjoyed this view. All this green in one place is... incredible. Anyway, let's get moving before we start looking tasty to monsters. Is he going to be okay? Eventually. That's a wall he'll have to overcome on his own. So if I remember right, there are six elements of astral energy, and darkness is only on Rena, and light can only be found on Dana, right? Right. I only remember because my parents drilled it all into my head when I was little. How did we find out about dark astral energy in the first place if it's not on Dana, though? Beats me. I couldn't tell you how or when we figured out that sort of stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff we've forgotten along the way, too. Yeah, I bet. 
And then we forget that knowledge was even forgotten at all, and it's back to square one. Exactly. That's why we need to take good care of what knowledge and artifacts we still have left. You really have a thing for old stuff, don't you? Well, I don't know that I'd call it just a thing. It's also something that helps me feel connected to our world. Connected? It's nothing. Forget I even mentioned it. I should have guessed that there'd be no way he'd understand. How could he? We're so high up! Thank you. 